Hello and welcome. In this video session, I'm going to show you how to fix page with redirect errors on the page indexing reports shown in Google Search Console. Before we move on, keep in mind that Rank Your Blog has more insights and if you've got questions or comments regarding page with redirect, please use the commenting section of this blog post. So, let's try and understand page with redirect errors in Search Console. Because it is confusing for some website owners as to fixing this problem. If we don't understand what's going on here, it will be confusing. So, basically, what page with redirect errors is that? Google requests a URL because it has seen it somewhere on the website or somewhere on internet, as in perhaps external websites as linked to some parts of your website using a URL whereby when Google tries to request that URL, what happens is that your website is redirecting Google saying, hey, Google, you requested this URL, but that URL is not on my website anymore. That URL is somewhere else on my website now. That's the redirection. So, for troubleshooting this problem, for page with redirect, this is what you need to do. First thing is look at all submitted pages. All submitted pages may not show any problems here. If that's the case, remember, there is nothing to fix. There is nothing to validate. All submitted pages come from your sitemaps. That means if you've submitted the sitemap to Search Console, then Google looks at those URLs and then says, these are the web pages you've submitted. They do not have any problems with page with redirect. So all is good. You don't need to worry about page with redirect errors at this moment. Because all submitted pages are all okay. Also, we have different filters here. As in different sitemaps. But let's look at all known pages so that I can show you different examples. And troubleshooting techniques. We have date ranges in Search Console reports, and we have examples. Let's press on an example here. Then we have a couple of tools on the right-hand side. We can press on Inspect URL. Let's do that. The Inspect URL is inspecting the problem URL. Keep that in mind. Here, this is the URL we have inspected. Page indexing for this URL, Google says, you know what, that URL is not on Google. It cannot be on Google because it's redirected elsewhere. Here, request indexing. So this is the problem most website owners get confused about. You cannot request indexing for this URL because there's a problem. So then page indexing it says page is not indexed, page with redirect. That's what Google has encountered. When requesting this URL, your website has sent it elsewhere, sent Google somewhere else. Then we have discovery as in, was that URL in sitemap? If the URL was in sitemap, then there is 100% a problem with the sitemap or the URL structure of a website. Then we have referring pages. Here, Referring pages are coming from some external website that has used this old URL pattern. So Google then follows the links found on this external site, which has the problem URL, comes to my website, but it's redirected. Referring pages can also come from my own website. So that's an important insight to keep an eye on because your website or my website may have problems or broken links internally. If that's the case, you need to then search 
your internal links and update them. As an update the broken link, so to speak, okay? Then we have crawl stats as to when Google requested the page. Uh, Google smartphone. Was Google allowed? Crawled allowed? Yes. Crawl allowed comes from robots or text file. Most websites don't need to worry about that because it's usually set up correctly anyway. But if not, you can test your own website. You can say, okay, you know what? Let me look at robots.txt file for my domain to see, you know what? Is there any directives within this here? If so, then if Google is not allowed to fetch the URL, then you need to remove the robots.txt directive. Now, the most important part to note here is the indexing part. Here it says Google has found user declared canonical. That means when Google requested this URL, my website told Google, you know what? I am declaring another canonical URL, which is the, the correct version, so to speak. But as you can see, that's different. To this that means Google requested this my website redirected Google to this now at this moment let's press on inspect when we press inspect we will be inspecting this URL and that URL should be in Google let's press inspect and as you can see that is on Google we also have test live URL. So that means if we have problems with this URL that is redirecting Google elsewhere, we can press test live URL. That means Google Search Console will request the problem URL live to give you more insights. This is the confusing part though for most website owners because here it says URL is available to Google. We can press on visit tested page. On the right hand side, we have more insights. We got the HTML document here. What we can do is we can press search and we can search for, let's say, canonical. That's the canonical URL, right? And then look at that. You can see that's different to this here. Make sense? Basically, Search Console is confusing in a sense that when we test live URL, it says URL is available to Google request indexing. And most people using the Search Console is thinking they will request this URL to be indexed. But Google cannot index this URL. Because it's redirected okay so let's take a look at different troubleshooting methods let's press on another example let's do this we can press on the search and then retrieve data from Google index regarding that example URL okay basically it's the same thing so let's go back let me show you different methods first let's copy this URL the problem URL in fact, before we do that, let's go and test robots.txt blocking because it's confusing for most website owners as well. Now, at this moment, when we're trying to use the robots.txt tester, I have no option to do so. Why? Because websites can be verified using two different methods. One is domain verification method. The other one is URL prefix method. Now, the new Search Console gives us two different verification methods. If you verified your website using domain verification method, then you cannot use robots.txt tester per se. Because Google legacy tools such as robots.txt tester requires URL prefix verification method. Now, if you manage your own website and you know how to verify it, then I would suggest to you to verify the domain version as well as the URL prefix version. Now, 
For Rank Your Website, I've used the domain verification method, which doesn't allow me to use the robots.txt tester. So let me show you the URL prefix method. So now we're looking at URL prefix method. Basically, it's the same website. And let's do something like this. Let's press on the example URL. Let's now test robots.txt tester. Because now I have the option to use the tool. And here, what I can do is test the URL that is having problems. And as we can see, Google is allowed. That means it's allowed to crawl. But remember, don't get confused. Robots.txt is about crawling process, whereby indexing is something different. Okay? So I'm trying to cover many different angles. Why? Because a website can be set up using various different methods on various different servers. And at times, just a simple forward slash within the URL portion can cause problem in terms of redirection. So let me request that URL. Again, let's request it to see what happens. It's gone elsewhere. So this is what I tend to do. So this is going to be a little bit more in-depth troubleshooting techniques. So now let's open up a new tab. Let me remove the forward slash because you may have a website built on a subdomain, for example, or URL with redirection could be coming from um, category URLs, whereby you have a folder structure that's three, four, five levels deep. And that could be the problem too. So things like that could cause problems for some websites. So for troubleshooting, the correct URL that Google can request an index, let me do this test. Let me remove the forward slash and request the URL to see what happens. As you can see, that's been redirected. So even just missing the forward slash could cause problems for some websites. If that's the case, what I suggest to you to do is always look at the sitemaps. The sitemaps that you have. Let's open up the sitemap. Let's press on Control U on our keyboard. Let's grab the, let's copy the problem URL example from page with redirect reports. Let's look at our sitemap and let's now search that problem URL to say, you know what, is that in the sitemap? Furthermore, sometimes some websites have um, incorrect XML sitemap structures. That means look at the URL in the sitemaps. The lock is the location of the URL. Look at the URL patterns here. They should be correct URL patterns. That means in this example, I have the forward slash, which is the intended version of the URL. Okay. So look at the XML sitemaps. Make sure the URLs are correct. Page with redirect errors could be caused through incorrect HTTPS setup. That means you can request your website without the S portion in the HTTP. Let me request this URL, because as far as Google is concerned, that's a different URL. Let's request that, and it should be redirecting to HTTPS version, as we can see. For troubleshooting methods, I can show you 100 different ways to do so. Let's remove the dub 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 version, and let's now request the URL. As you can see, Google once again has been redirected. That means what you can do if you're hosting your own website, you can log into your web hosting manager and look at redirects. For cPanel, you will have options for redirection. If you're using different content management system, different web hosting, sometimes you don't have access to cPanel. For example, DreamHost. For my website, you can look at websites Take a look at the website that is having the problem and look at redirect domain here. So back to cPanel. Usually 
paid with redirect errors for some websites are caused because of incorrect dub 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 redirection. What that means is make sure that your website that you have the linking structure of it is consistent. Links within the menu structure should have the correct patterns because sometimes some content management systems may you know, have incorrect linking within the website itself. So if Google visits the website, looks at all the links within it on the website and different pages, and it sees some pages with www URL pattern, some without www, that could cause problems with page with redirection. Okay. So let's go and look at other things. I'm showing you a typical WordPress site, but it doesn't matter whether you're using Shopify, Wix, Blogger. Make sure the internal linking structure of your website is consistent. And sometimes the website that you're using, the address of it could be having that forward slash portion. Okay. Now, if that's the case, obviously you need to make sure that the URLs are consistent, whether you have URL patterns with the forward slash or without. If it's without, then make sure the linking on the website is using the URL pattern without that forward slash. Okay. Now, as I've said, as long as you check your sitemaps, and look at the URL patterns there, making sure that they are the correct pattern, whether it's dub 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 version, whether it's the forward slash version. On your web server, look at the redirects option for your website, particularly if you're using subdomains, for example, and make sure the non dub 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 and dub 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 is redirected to correct version. What that means is, Google should not be accessing the website without dub 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 in my example. But some websites, such as my valued client in Australia, as you can see, the URL doesn't have dub dub dub. That means the entire website, including the URLs in the sitemap, should be using this pattern. Because if it isn't, if the website can be accessed through dub 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 portion, then that's a problem. As you can see, it's redirected. Now, I have created a blog post and this is the updated video session. And I'm trying to cover many different angles. As I've said to you at the beginning, page with redirect errors on the page indexing reports could be a problem and could not be a problem. It could be an easy fix. It could be a difficult fix. As long as all submitted pages don't have any problems, once again, there is nothing to fix. But if there is problems here, obviously, it has to be fixed. And I've shown you the tools available and different approaches. Furthermore, before I close up, one last thing that I'd like to show you is that if you followed all the insights thus far, and still having problems, then you'll you look at .htaccess file on your web server. You can access this file through cPanel and take a look at the file and take a look at any redirection rules within it. Because this file could have you know redirection rules as well. Now before I close up, if you're an experienced website owner, you can use F12 on your keyboard to bring out web developer toolbar. You can look at the network tab. You can test the problem URL. Let's grab a problem URL using search console. Let me just copy this URL. Let's paste that URL in there. This is the problem URL. Looking at network tab, let me now request that URL 
while analyzing the network tab. Let's look. Okay, Google has been, re I have been redirected. Let's refresh the page. And as we can see, the server responded as, you know what? When you requested that URL, this is the URL. But what we can do is we can test our website using non dub 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 non https and then request the url to see hmm, what's happening here as you can see when i requested the non secure version server sent internal redirection redirecting the browser to a different url pattern which is the https version which then also is redirected using 3i1 to the correct version which is perfectly okay in my scenario because that's what I want because that's the URL pattern that is in my sitemap so that's the last check for experienced website owners who can use network tool on the web developer toolbar whether you're using Chrome Microsoft Edge Firefox you can press F12 to bring out the web developer toolbar, okay? Now, we can, as you can see, we can go deeper and deeper and deeper into fixing Search Console issues. Before I close up, do keep in mind that I've actually created a couple of important courses, one being Google Search Console Crash Course, as well as SEO for the Future. I would strongly encourage you to check them out because it will definitely help your website to get better results from Google as well as only analyze what's important in Google Search Console. I thank you for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.